Oh, he's, he's a bit of a fight, Stuart, yeah, but, um, you know, obviously I'm not happy with the average, but I'm not worried about the average, so I'm more um, interested in seeing that W by my name, uh, that, that is the most important thing, um, you know, I can't improve on the average if I'm out of the competition, so, you know, um, second round, I won't be averaging it yet, I'm sure. <laughs> Do you think it's a, a nervy start, or just... Uh, nerves. Yeah, absolutely, uh, 100%. It, I, 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 was, I was very nervous tonight. It's a lot of expectation on me because obviously I've had such a good year on the floor. Um, so com coming here, it, it was massive for me. Really um, and I'm just having the mood to do so. You know, it takes, it takes time. It takes time to get used to it. There's a couple of shots last night. Is that kind of... Uh... Your mind. It does, yes, it does, yeah. You know, you know, Richie and uh, Mark was a great, great game, and you know, there's never anything between those two anyway. Um, so it was no shock that Richie beat Mark, but it, it, you know, obviously, I've been disrespectful, but it wouldn't have been a shock, obviously, if Mark had won either. So you just never know, you never know with darts. Yes, you know? yes. But, uh, your check out average, very good, 50%. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yes, I'm happy yes. with that. Yeah. Um, it just goes to show actually how, how bad my scoring was because if I had a 30% check out in my average, I'd well, maybe 80 <laughs> well, there's a, there, there's a, it's a good season, a lot of people tipping you with the dark horse for the tournament. Still, you've got a good chance of maybe get through this. You can only be a dark horse if you're in it. You know, if I, was like, if I was on my way home tonight, I wouldn't have been in it. I wouldn't have been a dark horse. I'm, I'm out of here. But uh, I, I can, I can push forward. I can learn from um, not my mistakes, but my slow start tonight. Um, I, I had to adjust my throat because the practice balls, I think, probably feel a little bit close, close to the, up there, so it's a bit not. But it might be the lighting. So I just got to get used to it and adjust accordingly. What's your plan for this tonight? Because you're opponent in the next round is actually decided in a later game tonight. You stay and watch that? Or? I'm going to stay and support young Michael, Michael Smith. Um, I, I might I might stay around and watch Wes play. Um, the, 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 the guy Wes is playing the Belgian play. He's, he's very good. Um, very good player. He's, um, so that'd be a good match. So, a good opponent next round, regardless. Absolutely, yeah. And, and you know, it, it makes it probably a bit easier because playing Sean was an un, you know, is an unknown. I've done know nothing about Sean, I've done no research on Sean. It's what to approach it as if I was playing, you know, Phil or Gary. And boy, oh boy, he was he's fantastic that first time. I mean, he didn't miss any checkouts, he, he gave it to me. So, I had to just stand back and think, fair play, and uh, just dig deep. Yep, well played and get through it. And uh, next Thursday, isn't it? It's Thursday again. 22nd, yes. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.